domestic violence already kills two women a week, and now a leading charity is warning that government cuts could make it even harder for women to get help. Mandy Wood is the mother of X Factor star Jermaine Douglas. She suffered horrendous abuse at the hands of her former partner. Now the family want to use Jermaine's fame to warn about the cutbacks. Casey Razzle reports now, and some of the scenes will perhaps be rather distressing to many viewers. Art is therapy for Mandy Wood. Painting kept her sane through years of violent abuse from the father of her children. I just did everything I could to not upset him, and you know, but it's just certain people are that way. Whatever you do is wrong, so. Did you know what triggered it, or was it just random? No. I think that's the hardest part, not knowing. So you're just on eggshells all the time. Mandy is so worried about funding cuts to domestic violence services that she agreed to talk to us about what happened to her family, including the horrific last ordeal which finally put her ex behind bars. It was just a four-day torture and it was my daughter who spoke out at school and the police came round and got me out. And what state were you in when they arrived? Um, uh, I don't even know how to explain it because I'd been burnt, knifed, Kick, punch, bitten, punched, like eight hours. I was just in and out of consciousness, had my hair ripped out. Mandy and her son, Jarmaine Douglas, a favourite to win the television programme X Factor, now campaign against domestic violence. He's talked of being haunted by hearing his mother's screams through his childhood. Mandy's former partner spent five years in prison for his abuse. Tragically, when he was released, her eldest son Daniel took his own life. He'd witnessed things children should never see. Because he saw my ex take a blue torch to me, and I have a vision of him sat on the floor, just frozen, because he couldn't do anything. And he took that with him to the grave. The outreach service that helped Mandy try to cope with Daniel's death has now been cut. Mandy's story is horrendous, but the charity Women's Aid says there are many women in streets up and down Britain who are suffering like she did behind closed doors. Channel 4 News has been given exclusive access to the charity's annual survey, which highlights the impact of cuts. It shows that one in five of the charity's domestic violence centres have closed some services. They're already turning away up to 300 women a day, and they're supporting half as many children and young people as they did three years ago. Which means fewer of them get the vital but costly art therapy that helps traumatised youngsters process what they've seen. This women's aid centre in North London counsels women at their lowest ebb. It has 14 refuges for families fleeing abusive partners. This weekend I was on senior management telephone backup. I turned five women away telling them that there was no space for them and each of them was sobbing down the phone. I mean, it, it feels desperate. The government says it's ring-fenced £40 million for domestic and sexual violence support services and helplines. Hello, Solas. Can I help? But other funding isn't specifically targeted and cash-strapped councils are allocating it elsewhere. Though the local government association spokeswoman told us... Councils work extremely hard with police, health, voluntary and other organisations to prevent this violence and ensure victims access the wide range of help they need. Even though government has reduced council funding by 28%, many local authorities supported the same or a greater number of victims over the last year as they did in the year before. The fact that they're making cuts and they're not there readily available for families, to me, I can't even put that into words. That's just madness. What impact do you think it will have on the women and families? You're going to have more deaths 